Now then. So uh, I think by now you're pretty much into the, uh, if you've been watching a few of my uh, films, you know that my style is about doing lots of things sort of re repetitively. Uh, that means things over and over and over again. And what I'm doing, what I'm going to do, is we've got these like these tea light things. We're not using that. That's that's, but it's just pretty. Um, it's the little the little glass that's inside. Now normally a little candle goes in there, but we're going to start drawing around it. So uh, I'll put it there so you can see. So this episode is is drawing and colouring in, and it's a really simple thing to do. Okay, so. This is getting the full shape, the full circle, and putting it down and drawing around it. But as you can see, I've just drawn one on its own over here. Now, you don't have to draw the whole thing. You can draw little bits of it. So if I just draw that little bit there, then I move the glass up a little bit and draw it there. There we go. Kind of looks a little bit like a, a basketball. It makes it a, a little bit more 3D, I think, does that. Um, but you don't have to just use a circle. If you've got any kind of thing, I mean, uh, using the end of a Pritt stick, you could draw around that. Um, but uh, if you've got like a square. So I'm going to draw around the whole square. So I'm just going to colour those in so you can see what, what goes on with that. So I'll either speed this up or I'll, um, I'll just show you the end. It depends on which time I have. Okay, so as you can see, I just use primary colours and green just to, so it's nice and bright. Um, but if you wanted to go round and more with black... Uh, that would be just to pick out the colours a little bit more. I think that would be quite good. Um, and I've also I've left some spaces that we might have seen. Um, but it is acceptable to do that because that looks because the background's white, so it looks like that's negative space, and negative space means something that's not there. So it looks like you're looking through through it to the background. Um, obviously, if you do that too much, it's uh, it just looks like you haven't bothered to colour it in. Now, as I say, with every single film I do, whatever you want to do this with is fine. I use felt tip pens. You could use your crayons. You could use your uh, pencil crayons, uh, paints, whatever. But I would suggest that you try and do something. If you're if you're always using felt tip pens and you've got your paints. Then give painting a go. Just give it a try and see, because you might end up liking it. Um, so one of the other things is you could just use your black pen and use, you, do you remember the Zentangling video we did? You could make the shapes and, and inside each shape do a different pattern. Um, that was all, that's also a good thing. Or just look around your house for, uh, you know, different, different shaped things to use. Which brings me on to the next bit. So at the beginning I said we can make it as complicated or as easy as you like. So we're going to do it a little bit more complicated now. So I'll just put that to one side. And I've printed these off, but you could look in magazines or anything. Can you see like a flower pot or like an apple? I mean, this flower pot's got a flower in it, but I really just did it for, for the flower pot there. And there's, a, there's an actual picture of a apple there like i say, i just got these off the internet i'm not going to use these i was using those as an example because i looked in the magazines because i don't really get magazines very often and the magazines i got didn't really have have things in them so i'm going to draw something but it's the same thing so basically you cut out a shape and you put it down draw around it draw around it again and again and again and again and each one you put something different in it so as you all know, I love my fish, so I'm going to draw some fish. So I'll go back to this camera, so you can have a look. A nice easy way to draw fish is just like that. So it's a bit like a figure of eight. Look, I'll draw a figure of eight. Oh, that's not a figure of eight. So I'll draw a figure of eight, like that. 
but it's just got a flat side. Now if I'm cutting that out, this bit here is going to be no good. So what I'm going to do is go across like that and go across like that. And I might even give him a little fin at the top. There we are. So I'm going to do an, a longer one. I'm going to do sort of sardine type fish. Like that. And again, if I'm cutting that out, there's nothing holding that together. So I've got to go across here and I've got to go across there. That's all right, a nice little fin. And maybe a little fin at the bottom as well. So I'm going to do one a bit like that. But a bit bigger, I think. I think that's a good size. I think he goes up a little bit, he should come more round like that. There we are. Now, can you see from this one, can you see there's lots of construction lands, there's lots of things where, you know, I've just drawn it like that to get the shape, but then I've come in, actually I think around there. Um, so that's the one I'm going to use. That's the one I'm going to cut out. So don't just draw one and do use that one straight away. Make uh, make a few decisions. And in fact, I've just I've decided that that's too thick here. I want it bigger there. So I'm going to draw draw it again. Okay. So as you can see, I even changed it from what I decided with when I did the pen. So this is what I'm going to cut out, and this is what I'm going to use as my stencil. That's my stencil for my fish. And what you've got to remember with a, a, a stencil uh, is you can use it this way or you can turn it over and use it the opposite way. Don't think that you've only got the way you drew it has to be the way it is. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my paper that way. And like I said, I'm going to do this. That's just a monkey mark on that piece of paper. There we go. I wanted them to look a bit sardine-y. Now sardines are more pointy at the front, so they're not exactly sardine-y. But this is my fish, and it doesn't matter what it looks like. Okay, so I've got them all drawn out, uh, and I've decided to paint them. And because of fish, I'm gonna go predominantly uh, blue, so most of the colour on here is going to be blue. Um, so I'll just shut up and get on. Okay, back to you. Uh, as you can see from the film that, uh, and the picture, I haven't been too careful about painting them. Uh, and that's because I'm going to draw over the top of them. So we have to wait for them to dry, and then I'm going to get the pencil crayons out and then start drawing over the top. So with the magic of, of YouTube, I'll click my fingers and everything will be dry. Okay, so this is dry now. And uh, we're going to do probably my favourite bit anyways, is putting all like, the, the little details and things in. So let's get started. I'm going to do that with uh, my new packet of pencils. So you could finish it there or you could use a pen and go around them or one of those type of pens which whichever you you like um or you could even i mean you could even use a really thick black line around them and just decide how, how that would go um but what i'm going to do i'm going to use a brush and i'm going to draw it round with a brush just to define where the fish actually are. So if, if, if you go to this, this camera, you can't actually see where the edges are. Now I could use quite a darker blue or, uh, or a dark brown or something and, and do the same with the uh, pencil crayons. But I've decided I'm gonna use a brush and there's my 
So this uh, is what's called Payne's Grey. So if you use it quite thickly, it looks a little bit like black. Uh, but you can mix a black up if you use uh, your really dark red, your really dark blue, and your dark green, put both of those together, you'll get a really, really uh, colour that looks a bit like black. Okay, so I'll get started. Just before I do get started, it's always good. It's always good if you have a little piece of card or something or a bit of paper and just practice just to see what colours you're going to get. As you can see, that looks very black. So I'm using the smallest brush I've got. <coughs> and I'm not going to draw around the whole thing just all the way around. I'm just going to put little bits here and there. I'll just leave it there. Um, I think that looks quite nice. Um, but yeah, I mean, obviously I've done fish because I like fish, but you could do, like I said, with the, um, you could do a plant pot and put different plants, or go to this camera, put different types of plants in all the plant pots. So you don't have to cut a template. If you've got something like a tube of pains, uh, you can just draw around it and round it and round it. And remember just to, you know, draw in and a bit at the end that goes like this and then you can put colour that in anyway, I mean that's got a stripe on it, uh, I've got a different one here, it's got, it's that's got a stripe on it as well, you could, that's the label there, you could decide to have that stripey, anywhere you want to do it. If you put a little curve on there, it makes it look a little bit more rounded um, I'll put those away and again I you know what we did do you remember what we did when we was drawing our kit we drew around the pencils and the pens could do that um, you could draw a figure I'll show you a, a really simple figure could just uh, and then legs so you could you could draw a really simple figure like that, cut that out and then draw it over and over again and then you can start putting different faces. You could have arms like this. There's so much you can do with this. And the repeating pattern, it, it just makes it look very, very, very nice, I think. I just like the, uh, the whole aspect of that. Um, so, we started off with very simple shapes, just circles and squares, colouring in, which I really like, I love these kind of patterns, and then we've ended up just taking it further and further and further into a, a lot more complicated um, design. So this is a really good activity from, you know, well, saying for younger people, but I really enjoy doing this, so I mean, you know, it's it doesn't have to be younger, but obviously we can take it to, well, the next level, really. So, so yeah, give it a go. Like I say, in every single film we do, give it a go. See how you get on. See if you like it. So remember, it's just a piece of paper. Experiment, experiment, and experiment. And if there's something, you've a part of your picture looks great and the other part doesn't look so good, Draw something else on another piece of paper and stick it over the top of the bit you don't like. That's a really good way of uh, of covering up something that you don't like if you've been exper experimenting but you've got half of it really good. Um, but yeah, just give it a go. Just do it. <laughs>